I've put aside the particle effects for now because I wanted to get back to the, the player movement and the, the core gameplay. Let me just show you what I've updated for the past few days. Uh, you can slide, uh, you can jump over things or do a running jump. In case with sliding, you can slide into a crouch position or slide into a run or slide into a, a basic walk-in animation. Same thing with the jumping over thing. You can jump over to an idle. I try to make the transition smooth. You can also jump into a running motion as well as the, the walk-in animation. And you could also get killed if you get hit by the axe. I mean, the, the animation was always there. Uh, I just mm, didn't turn it on. Let me restart the game. Uh, right now, I don't have anything that happens after uh, you get into a crouch position. I just didn't write the code yet. But eventually, everything should be um, smooth. And uh, basically, it's fluidity, I guess. Um, there should be certain motions that you should be able to perform from the crouch position. I just don't have it yet. Uh, I basically want everything to be recursive. As in, there should be no dead ends. You, you can consider this to be different pathways that you can take to reach a certain motion. But there should be no dead end, meaning whatever happens, there should be some sort of a move that is able to follow up after, your, after the current state. So it's basically infinity and fluidity in motion. Uh, the problem with game design is that you don't want to have too much restrictions, but you also don't want to have too much freedom. It's uh, that, that breaks just basic laws of physics. You don't want that. So it's basically finding the right notes that, it, that is always difficult. In case with death, uh, it's the exact same animator that all the, the, the same characters, whether it's the enemy or the player, it's the same animator. It's just a different blend tree that triggers a different animation depending on what you get killed by. So it's the same laws, basically. Same laws, uh, same animator, same code. Uh, it's that, That's basically what a game is. You have a bunch of... Uh, set of laws that, that that don't break each other that you're not allowed to break and you do whatever the laws or the rules or the restrictions allow you to do and then you try to achieve your goals basically so I've been trying to figure out what would be the best set of motions and the best set of actions or attacks that you could do while, while you're in certain animations I've just been experiment, experimenting with a lot of different th things um, but I've also been sick, which is why I haven't made too much progress yet. But it's but I'm but I'm still going. Some of you ask me why I don't write all these stuff down. I mean, why I don't write any of the plans into a piece of paper. One, it's just easier to memorize stuff and and make the ad adjustments in your head. And two, because I'm an indie game developer, I'm the only. This is a one man team. Uh, whatever I plan will always have will run into certain barriers because there's limitations in my skills and, and the resources that I have. I mean, I just have some basic understanding of writing code, um, but I'm not an artist. I, as you've seen before, it's it's very hard for me to do particle effects or, or I've also tried to make uh, 3D models in the past that just didn't turn out very well. So there's always going to be oh, the, the the air movement is not done yet. So there's always going to be uh, certain limitations and certain those limitations in skills or, or resources will always render most of the plans useless, uh, pointless, basically. Whatever you do, in most cases, turns out quite different than what you envisioned. So you would al always have to make the adjustments. That's also the fun part about being an indie game developer but it's also uh, a big restriction that sort of hinders you from being able to carry out what you planned. 
so but but the plan is there in my head i have a rough visualization but i just try to be as flexible as possible and i don't try to stick to a single idea but i would always try to stay open and make the adjustments depending on um, whatever obstacles that I run into. And uh, that's pretty much it. All I have to do is just continue to expand on this and build on all these animations that I have currently so that there are no dead ends. You would have certain fluidity, certain freedom to carry out your actions and and achieve a goal and also add and I, I and I would also add a storyline to it to make it interesting and so on and so far I feel like the actions are pretty smooth I just haven't added the attacks yet I will later on I only have the simple uppercut but I have more later on so uh, thanks for watching today's Monday I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys soon bye bye